morning artist it's miss kim it's actually probably the afternoon depending on where you are i just was very excited um so today we are drawing a golden retriever puppy requested by gabe goodson and i'm really excited to start this drawing with you and sing this song we're going to draw a really really cute photo of a golden retriever puppy so today we are using hi kara today we are using um, white colored pencils, black colored pencil, and then a host of like goldens. We have for golden retriever, we have um, some golden yellows, some light yellows. I have a lot of the same color because we're going to use um, quite a bit of the paper. I accidentally went off the paper today while I was sort of laying this in so you can draw smaller than me or you can use two pieces of paper. That's totally up to you. So we have just a host of browns like Toasted browns, toasted yellows, host and toast, that rhymes. I enjoy it. I enjoy rhyming. When we start today, we're gonna I'm gonna be using um a brown pencil instead of a black because the golden retriever's fur is so warm, it's so yellowish, uh, that I'm just gonna keep it a little bit lighter when we do the outlines. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we can get started. Again, today, if you're just joining us, we are drawing a golden retriever puppy as requested by Gabe Goodson, who is an awesome young artist who has been following the show. So let's flip the camera around and we will get started on our drawing. Okay, so as you can see, Miss Kim went off the paper <laughs> and that's okay, because sometimes that happens. Miss Kim tends to draw big. Hi, John. But we're going to stay, you can draw a little smaller than me if you'd want, but we're going to stay like in the center of the paper to draw the eye because we still need to come down in diagonal to draw the puppy snout, um, which comes out a little bit from the eye. So we don't want to go off the paper the other way because then we lose the puppy nose and we don't want to lose the puppy nose. So center and a little bit down on the paper and we're going to start with the eye. He has those big brown puppy eyes, and we only get to see one of them just because of the angle of the photograph. But we get to draw on these nice almond eyes. Hey, Nat. Hi, Hunter. Hi, Jenny. Just saying hi to some people I'm seeing joining me. I'm sure if you guys replay these, they sound like I'm crazy. I was thinking about that the other day, but I guess I'd still rather say hi. All right. So we're drawing in these little rounded, this little rounded puppy eye. Hey, Ed. And it's coming off with a little bit um, of the top lid here. It's a little bit more flat than the bottom part of the eye, which is a bit rounded. So we have this outside circle and you actually get to see the white part of the eye and the puppy. Um, we haven't really been seeing that that much with the animals we've been drawing because it looks like the iris and the pupil take up the entire, um, the entire area of that eye. So we're gonna leave a little space for the white eye today. Hey, Shannon. And we are going to, so we're gonna leave a little space between these lines. And we're gonna draw a little circle inside this this odd shape that we drew for an eye. I don't really know what I would call it. And then, because with every other animal that we've been drawing, we have the light reflection, we have the light reflecting from the eye of the animal, we're gonna draw a tiny little circle, top right inside this other circle, just to show the light is reflecting from the eye. It helps show that the puppy is happy and vibrant and moving around. It helps to really animate the face and the eye of the puppy. So we have a tiny little circle for the light reflection, and then we're gonna draw another circle around that circle. So remember, it's kind of like the three circle rule, small circle, big circle, bigger circle. Although today, we did leave a little space for the white of the eye. So we have the little puppy eye, just like that, and we're gonna draw the lids around it. So we're gonna do the top lid we draw the eyelids of the animal. It helps protect the animal. It helps protect the animal's eye because if you think about it, eyes are very important and they're very vulnerable. They're a very vulnerable part of the body, so they're good to keep protected because they're very important to our survival, to our happiness. So we have the top part of the lid there and we're gonna draw 
going to come down a little bit here. There we go. And then around with the bottom part of the lid, it's kind of, it's kind of like part hair, part lid, but it is going to get colored into a different color. So we're just going to outline that right now. So we're going to come down and over this sort of little triangle shape we drew here. And this part is going to be a little thicker than the top part of the lid that we just drew. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a minute. Hey, LT. How's it going, my dude? Just saying hi to everybody today. Feeling friendly. <laughs> Feeling like saying hello. All right. There we go. All right, so this can be, um, this doesn't have to be perfect either because again, this is gonna get shaded out into the lighter colors of the face. So now that we have the basic eye area, we're gonna do a few lines up and around the eye to really, um, to really give it dimension and it's gonna help us space out the rest of the face. So we have the eye here. We're going to draw a line starting up from the lid just can be a really light line because again, we're gonna color this in in a little bit. It's gonna come up and around the eye and then it's gonna flow a little bit back behind the eye, right there. It just shows the direction of the hair. And then this helps, um, this helps illustrate the bone structure of the face of the puppy as well. So we have this line and then behind the center of the eye here, we're gonna draw a little line that comes out just really, really light, just really, really light um, pencil markings or or uh, anything that you're using, really, markers, whatever utensil you're using. All right, so we have the top here. We're gonna do one more, one more bigger one. Starts in front of the eye. And then we're gonna draw another line up. So these two sort of match. And it's going to move up and around this area and again come back out behind the eye so it's the eyelid and then it's like it's wearing a hat and then it's like it's wearing another hat all right so we're going to move to the bottom part of the eye starting in the front again like we just did with this top line we're going to draw diagonally out a little bit high mark and come down I was just talking about how I'm saying hi to everybody today and if people play back this, play back this video on my page, it's gonna seem a little bit silly, but that's okay. Also, I've been trying to get these videos on YouTube and I've failed at it so far, but I have organized my, um, my timeline, my home page. I have organized that to where the videos are the first thing you see and I did categorize them by uh, what was being drawn. So there is a headline there. So they're easier to find, they're easier to, um, utilize so just go about and do that if you would like to catch up on any of our older episodes all right so this is the eye area of the puppy we have the eye the lids and then some um some fur lines that help denote bone structure and just spacing so now with the puppy we're going to come out and we're going to do the puppy nose and the puppy snout because that's pretty important wouldn't you say when you think about a puppy do you think about the nose of the puppy the snout of the puppy the, the heart snout challenge, what is that called? I forget, anyway. So we're gonna come out from the eye a little bit, out from this eyelid. We can sort of mark our line if we want to. And we're gonna draw a straight line down that's gonna come out and down diagonally. And it's a little bit curved, so it's not, it's not completely straight. It's a little bit of a curve, and we're gonna end it about there. So it's sort of, if you go like this from the eye, we can end that in a triangle there, just for reference, just for shape. All right, so now that we stopped here, what we're going to do is bring this line in just a tiny bit, and then we're going to match this line, but on the inside, and we're gonna bring this line back up. There we go, so we kind of threw the ball, came down, moved over, threw it back up the face. Okay, there we go. So we're getting the snout of the puppy. With the nose, it's not gonna come directly down. We're gonna move the line a little bit out first. There we go. 
and then we're going to bring the puppy nose down and do a little bit of a curve and this is a little bit noses on dogs are a little bit complicated there's a few moving parts so um, there's a few different parts so we're going to first draw this kind of square shape here at the end I know it doesn't really look like a nose yet but we're going to build off it there we go like that and then we're going to draw one more that's going to one more shape that's going to come down a little bit hey Fred Groves come down a little bit and then come back up here there we go so that we have the top of the nose of the puppy and then from this outside shape this outermost shape we're going to draw a little bit of an upside down triangle that's going to be the point of the nose of the puppy all right and then we're going to draw another line coming out underneath so these two lines sort of look the same we have that top line that looks like a little bit of an arrow and the bottom line that looks like a little bit of an arrow very nice and then we're going to finish this off by just bringing down the nose a little bit further there we go do you see what's happening we're getting there all right so let's draw the mouth of the puppy while we're down here it's going to start from the center of that nose area right here we're going to bring a curved line down and around just like that and we're going to bring the mouth up, the mouth line up, and underneath the eye. And then we're going to, because this is kind of where the dog's mouth droops a little bit, opens his mouth, we're going to leave that little, that little area a little bit thicker, just a little bit open. We're going to come back to the nose really quickly, because you can sort of see the other side of the mouth of the, the pup from the profile. And just go ahead and do that really quick so we drew an inside line that came up and underneath the eye and then we're going back to the nose and we're going to draw another little because this is the, the divider for the center of the face draw the start of that little other side of the mouth although we don't get to see it because this is a profile all right so now that we're on like at the part where we're drawing the mouth of the puppy he does have a little bit of a droop which is so cute we got a little bit of a droop on the mouth so we're just going to draw that really quick which is just starting about here coming up underneath the opening of the mouth and up and around just like that all right very nice now let's get to the top of the head and we'll get to the ear of the puppy because again these are very um, important shapes these are important structures to identify that we are drawing a puppy so we're gonna take this line that we left off with at the snout and we are going to come up and around the top of the eye and then it sort of goes flat and straight a little bit behind the eye before we start to curve down and around again just like that very nice and then we stop and why do you think it is that we stop what do you think happens here <laughs> what do you think happens here that makes us stop the line of the head well I can tell you it is that big old sweet puppy ear so the puppy ear starts actually closer to the eye, a little bit higher on the head, and then it slants down a little bit like this. Nice, very nice. And it comes out past the head of the puppy, just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. And we can make these kind of furry lines because it is a puppy and puppies are furry most of the time. Sometimes, I don't know if you have dogs and if they get shaved down for the summer because it's too hot, but most of the time puppies are furry. So 
we have this ear and the ear, the bottom of the ear comes down past the mouth just a little bit, okay? And it is the thinnest when it's at the bottom of the ear, at the top of the ear, at the top of the head, it's the widest. So it is sort of like um, a really loosely drawn triangle, right? Because it's, it's, if you looked at it like this, it sort of looks like a triangle where the point, the smallest point is going to be at the bottom here. And then as we go back up, it gets a little thicker at the top of the head. All right. Very nice. And we do have a little bit more fluff. That's going to be a little bit of a color variation above the ear as well. Very nice. Now, again, because this is a profile, we don't get to see the other side of the eye, but we do get to see where that bone structure is, where that lid is. So real quick, let's head back to the other side of the face. And we're going to draw in where we see that little lid, that little hint of an eye. So we don't get to see it, but it's sort of a hint of one. And it's important to draw again because structurally we want to make sure that this is looking like a puppy. So starting back up behind the ear, we're going to draw the puppy neck and it's going to just come down like this. I'm making my, my lines a little bit furry, a little bit fluffy. So that just means I'm drawing short, quick, like little jagged lines because it helps the viewer to understand that there's fur, that it's a furry puppy as opposed to a smooth puppy. All right, so we have that back line drawn. Now we're gonna come back up underneath the, that puppy mouth again, that silly, sweet, droopy puppy mouth. And we're gonna draw in the front part of his body as well. His furry little chest area. And again, just those short, Awesome little puppy, fluffy pencil lines. Okay, great. And so now we have the outline of a golden retriever. Let's get to coloring. So we're gonna switch really quickly to our black colored pencil. I'm gonna zoom in here and we're gonna draw the pupil of the puppy, the pupil of the puppy. I like alliteration. So that's kind of cool. We're going to color that in and that's going to be one of our darkest areas. It also looks like there's some dark area outside, just outside of the iris of that, of the puppy. So we're going to just darken that up a little bit too while we're in there. Going to darken the outside top underneath the lid. There we go. And then Around the outside, we're using this black colored pencil and just coloring in a little bit. Really, really nice. All right, so that allows some depth, that allows some shading. And while we have this black colored pencil, which we're not gonna use that much today, shockingly, we're gonna come down to the puppy snoot, the little puppy nose, and we're gonna color in, and this is darker, this nose is darker underneath the top part of the nose. So there's kind of a top part, a bottom part. We're gonna make the bottom part of this puppy nose darker because it is a little bit more obscure. It's not getting as much natural light. So we're gonna make that a little bit darker. What's up, Ray Brown? There we go, make that darker. And then we are gonna come up and color this in, but lightly, we're gonna make this a little lighter. This is where the light on the face hits most. So this is becomes a lighter gray as opposed to black. And then this starts to get a little bit darker as we pull back into the face. All right. Very nice. Let's switch back now to our brown colored pencil. We're gonna start shading in around those structures on the eye, 
that we did earlier. We can color in the iris of the puppy because that puppy has pretty big brown eyes. So we're just coloring this in and then we can go a little bit darker with our color up under the lid because again with shading, with light and shading, the under, um, the top part of the eye underneath the lid is getting a little bit less light than the rest of the eye. So we can go, we can press down with our pencils, our marker is dark, and then this gets a little bit lighter underneath here. We can color in the lid while we're here. It's a little bit of a lighter brown. Really nice. And then we do have some shading to do above the eye of the puppy. <clears throat> and I'm so excited for us to sing a song in a few minutes here about golden retrievers. So I hope you stick around for that. And again, all my videos are now organized on my page. I've been trying to get them on YouTube, but I've been failing. So uh, we'll get that figured out. But until then, all my videos are the first thing you're, you'll see on my page. And they're organized and labeled and categorized. So whatever you're feeling like drawing that day, please go hit up my timeline. And there's um, 11 previous videos where we're drawing different uh, animals, bugs, plants, and singing about them. Actually, I don't think we've done a plant yet, but we're going to. So animals and bugs. All right, so we're just shading in some of that. We can shade in the other start of this eye over here, and then we're gonna come down to the nose. And this part of the nose, again, because of light reflection, is gonna stay a little bit lighter. So that's why we drew two lines, outside line, inside line. So this is gonna be a little bit darker and we can head that up right up to the face. And then that starts to get drawn back here. And it looks like the coloring is a little bit darker around the nose. So we'll continue with this brown pencil, this dark brown pencil for just one more minute. And this part, the second part of the lip here is stays lighter than the rest, again, because that's where the light is hitting on the face. Just doing some shading. And again, these are just quick back and forth lines. Really nice, really nice. And we'll get to this ear over here as well. Give me one sec, one second. Okay, now it's gonna be a little bit darker where the ear meets the face because it creates just a natural shadow. So it is a little bit darker there. And then we're just drawing in some quick lines to show shading and to show the fur on that puppy. And again, darker lines on the outside because of the natural shadow that the bottom part of this ear is creating. All right. Real quick, let's get back to the mouth area, darken that up a little bit and darken behind that little sweet droopy mouth. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All right, now we're gonna use a medium brown and I'm gonna start coloring in parts of the ear. Parts of the ear and parts of the snoot are gonna be a little bit darker than the rest of the puppy face and a little bit above the brow as well. Just the color variation, the natural color variation of a puppy, of a puppy's fur um, mixed in with lighting. How the different areas on the puppy's face are being lit. So, and it's a little bit darker at the bottom of the ear hair as well. Ear hair, <laughs> not ear hair. Although that is what we're coloring. And again, this is so simple, you guys. This is just me turning my pencil a little bit and creating broader lines as opposed to straight up and down. And you see how those lines are thin? So we're just covering a larger area using broader lines. 
There we go. I'm going to come up and color in part of the puppy's top part of his head as well, just to allow that to get some color. Allow that to get some color and some shape. Let's color in this area of the snoot. There we go. And let's not forget the body, although we won't get be able to get to as much detail on that. I tend to focus in on faces, honing on faces first. All right. So now that we have a little more coloring, a little more shading, and you can do that really quickly, or you can go back and watch it and do it at your own pace. I will post this on my page after the video is done. So now I have more of a golden brown, golden yellow, and I'm going to start blending everything in. Do you see the difference that that makes, even just doing it lightly? Even the white parts that I missed out on before, I'm going to start coloring in. These areas around the eye stay a little bit lighter, but we're going to start coloring in around them. They're not completely white, but they're just like a, a lighter part of the hair. Same with the area of the mouth here. But we're going to color in around them. There we go. Coloring up and around the head, back to the ear area. And this ear is just full of color. It is so saturated with color that we're going to just quick, I'm going to darken this a little bit more than the rest of most of the face. There we go. And let's get the rest of the body. And if you want to send me your drawings, please have your parents or yourself leave them in the comments, depending on your age and access to internet. Again, just drawing in these quick puppy lines, this fur here. All right, and it looks like we may not get to white today, but honestly, that's okay because we left a lot of places just because that's the white on the fur. All right, so there we have our golden retriever. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna sing a song about what we learned to draw today. All right, thanks guys. Hi guys, give me one sec to get set up. I hope you enjoyed drawing the golden retriever puppy today, courtesy of a young man named Gabe Goodson, who I hope turned in tuned into the show. All right, so we're gonna sing a song now that I wrote about puppy facts. Golden Retriever puppy facts, to be specific. I am ready for action, running, hacking, swimming, fetching. I'm a natural athlete. I am ready for action,
is a cousin of me. Monday. Have a good weekend.